Hi folks, welcome to my channel and today I'd like to speak about diet. Diet can be extremely confusing. I've read a lot of books, a lot of books <laughs> uh, about diet over the years. And as many of you may be aware, if you've uh, looked into diet as much as I have, it can be just stupid confusing. <clears throat> One book says, uh, eat beans. Another book says stay away from beans. One book says fruit is awesome for you. Eat a lot of it. Another book says um, stay away from fruit. It's bad for you. And on and on and on. And these books you know, some of the time are written by supposed experts. Um, certainly some of them are written by um, medical doctors um, or nutritionists. Um, as we know, medical doctors tend not to have any real training in nutrition. Um, but some take it upon themselves to study, um, to hopefully do a better job for their patients and um, learn uh, through that idea. And still, the, the messages conflict, sometimes smallly, sometimes greatly. So what do we do? Well, <clears throat> what I do is... For example, if I'm reading a book and it makes sense to me, I don't follow the whole thing all the way through. If the author says something that just is ignorant to me, for example, if the author doesn't seem to understand the importance of staying away from processed food, then when he or she is, you know, recommending processed food products or just a blanket statement about, you know, what you can do for your diet, and I can see that they're speaking process, I throw that out the window. Now, if I'm reading a, a book on diet and there's too much of that kind of thing, then, yeah, pretty much I'll throw the whole thing out the window because it just seems like this person just hasn't done enough research to really know what the heck they're talking about. So, Fasting. Let's talk a little about that. It's nothing new. There's something called intermittent fasting. And that's just a, a title for something that is freaking ancient. I mean, uh, in a nutshell, and it can be done in different ways, but just for the sake of this video, uh, I'm going to say eating once a day. Just once a day. And that might sound crazy to you. You know, it might sound nuts even. But there's super good reasons for it. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to mention a couple of authors here um, that I actually like, and um, I, I would recommend you looking into what they've written. Uh, there's audiobooks available as well. And um, one of the authors, I'm not remembering his name right now, um, but I will um, remember that and put a, a, a link or some kind of information um, down below in the description area. And I may put... Um, something by this next author I'm about to mention. I do remember his name because he's, he's my latest um, source of interest. And his name is Jason Fung, uh, J-A-S-O-N-F-U-N-G. I believe that's it. Anyway, I'll have a link down below. And um, <clears throat> as always, if you do look into these authors and they say something from my point of view that is just ignorant, and I'm not saying Jason Fung is on that level, but, you know, processed foods, bottom line, if you can, treat that stuff like poison, because ultimately it is uh, for our bodies. So uh, stay away from processed foods, go, go organic whenever you <clears throat> can. Look down below to the uh, links. Uh, these are not affiliate links. Um, I'm not affiliated with um, these authors. I don't gain anything uh, monetarily if you look into their information. <clears throat> I'm just including these links because I like their material and I, I feel it's an, uh, a resource for you to explore these things in greater depth. Uh, so yeah, all I get out of it if you look into them is um, the good feeling that I have potentially helped you as a person. Well, that's why I'm here. You know, um, oh, what was I going to say? Okay. And I'm not remembering the name of that other guy either. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Um, okay. Organic. That's what I was going to say. <clears throat> you know, 
when I buy organic, I feel like I'm doing the best I can. Ultimately, if I had the ability, I would grow my own food because I would absolutely 100% know what I was putting into it. You know, 100% organic gardening. I know what I'm growing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm getting. <clears throat> I worked in a health food store for mm, four years, four and a half years, something like that. And I learned a lot. I was into organics anyway before I worked there. But just being in that environment and interacting with the other employees over time, I could not but help um, deepen my awareness of the organic situation. Okay, in a nutshell, there are companies, corporations out there that actually hire people, um, give them the job of working the system to um, allow more and more things that shouldn't be in organic products to legally be in organic products without affecting the labeling that says, hey, this is organic. Um, <clears throat> apparently, every year there's a list. I don't have the link for you. I'm probably not going to look into it to get you the link either. But you can find it yourself if you're that interested. Uh, apparently, there's a list of um, additives, if you will, chemicals, so on and so forth, that we wouldn't want in our organic products um, that are legally allowed in organic products. That's what that list is about. It's online. Maybe it's a government list or something. I don't know. But um, it's worth your looking into if you're a little skeptical or you'd like to know more. Anyway, bottom line on that is uh, I don't have the ability right now to grow my own food. So I do the best I can by buying organic. Unfortunately, um, if I was aware um, of what is in that product a lot of the time behind the curtain, um, I would be very upset, you know, because I would say, how can they allow that? But they do. Now, <clears throat> here we're getting back to the idea of processed food. If it's organic processed, that's where you're going to get a lot of these hidden um, additions to your product. Okay. Even if it's organic, you're going to get a lot of these hidden additions. So ultimately, you know, I feel your best bet is to just stay away from processed food. It will help your health. I mean, it's not even a question. If you've um, read a lot on the subject and you already know what I'm talking about, then, you know, I'm preaching to the choir, as they say. But if not, then perhaps you would be interested in looking into this in greater depth because, you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate, it's upsetting. But yeah, um, the processed foods, even if they're organic, that are allowed on the shelf under the seal of organic, um, generally aren't everything we would really want them to be. But I buy them. Oh, no, no, wait. <laughs> Um, I lean towards unprocessed. That's my thing. Now, and I have certainly bought the processed organic foods in the past. You know, that's where the I buy them comes from. And, um, you know, and I'll bounce back and forth with that a bit. But ultimately, I'm, I'm starting a cleaner phase right now for me, diet-wise, where um, I'm going to do my best to really stay away from that, except for once a month. I'm going to have a cheat day once a month. Because I just love pizza. My wife makes an awesome organic pizza. And there's going to be, um, you know, like stuff in it that is considered processed. So whatever. But if I'm only doing it once a month, I figure, hey, you know. So what was I going to say around that after that? Mm, well, I don't know. If it comes back before the video, I'll say it. Hey, if you find any value in this um, video, please, I'm trying to grow my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. That'll help me grow this channel and allow me the space to um, put more attention into creating more uploads um, to help you. Uh, and in helping you, I help myself. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me too. What was I going to say about processed foods? Oh, the produce that I buy. <clears throat> Organic. Once again, it falls into that weird space of Companies having worked really hard to get things allowed that, in my book, should not be allowed. <clears throat> How was your organic produce?
process. Were any, um, was anything used to somehow um, enhance or, or influence the, the process in any way? And ultimately, what effect could that have on our health? So yeah, it, it touches on that too, but it goes back once again to if I don't have the ability to grow it myself, well, you know, then I got to do what I got to do, you know, so I'm, I'm buying the um, organic produce from my local health food store. Uh, man, I mean, I want to have the ability to grow it myself, you know, and once upon a time, like a hundred years ago, uh, I did have that ability, but I won't go into all that. Um, there it is. I guess I'm going to end this video for now. I hope it's put some uh, thoughts into your mind that you're going to pursue. And I hope this video has been beneficial. Please like and subscribe if you uh, would like to help me grow my channel and if you feel you've uh, found some value here. Okay, that's all for now. Peace and love. Mwah. Bye for now. Have a happy day. Stay safe.